guys, Pam and John from the Fun Chasers. And guess where we are today? Isaac Acres Museum. It's an amazing museum. All kinds of stuff in here. They said they have over 40,000 items. And it's in the center of Huntington County, Pennsylvania. Let's check it out. John and I began our tour in building one. Seemed logical, right? We found in there radios, record players, and an ice cream shop. How, how's lunch? Lunch is good. Really? Yeah, what what got cheeseburger? Bags, coffee. Coffee. Don't spill it. Back in the day, they used to have sparkling water or carbonated water coming out of these soda fountains. And then they would use Coke syrup to make your Coca-Colas. Here's an old Coke machine. Look, it's five cents plus one cent tax. So you'd have to put a nickel and a penny in here to get your bottle of Coke out of the bottom. Well, this is a cool sign. Now for the modern generation, when your radio or your iPhone breaks, you throw it in the trash, right? Back in the day, you buy this little radio over here for $5 and it quits working. You can actually take it to a guy that will fix it, take it apart, fix it, put it back together, and you get your radio back. Service. For any of you who are not from Pennsylvania, the J.C. Blair Company made the very first bound tablets. There must have been over a hundred radios in this building and they were sitting next to a bunch of audio equipment and a working Victrola that was manufactured between 1910 and 1917. The next building housed cameras, lenses, darkroom equipment, and projectors from the Clifton Theater, and lots and lots of old pictures. In this building, there's also a music room where John pretended to be a piano player. A model railroad made to look like Huntington back in the day, complete with the Pennsylvania Railroad passenger train, and an art room that, to my surprise, held some of my mom's paintings. And have you ever seen a yeah. jukebox work? Look at this. Get in there. In the last building, we found even more neat stuff. There's a 1940s to 50s kitchen, old sewing machines, and even a pop-up camper. There was memorabilia from local churches and retail establishments that called Huntington County home, and pictures of Racetown Dam before it was the lake that it's known as today. The oldest and most unusual display in the museum is a collection of items donated by the Knights of Malta. And the whole corner here is dedicated to the Knights of Malta. This is the oldest artifact here at the Isaac Heritage Museum. It's a stone tablet chiseled out of the Knights fortification on the island of Malta on around uh, the 1500s, uh, the fort was built in 1530. Oh my, I had a blast. That was so much fun. How about you? Oh, I loved it. I think I could have been a tour guide. 
kind of lived through some of the eras in that museum. It was fantastic. <laughs> Our generation, and I assure you that all generations will just get a big kick out of this place. They're open daily from 9 to 4, Sundays from 12 to 5, and you can find them on the web at www.isaacacres.com. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And for even more fun tales, please go to our website at www.thefunchasers.com.